The euro is surging in value. The currency is at its highest point in more than a year against the dollar and the British pound. With that in mind, investors are anxiously awaiting comments from European Central Bank President Mario Draghi. Fox Business explains the rise in the value isn't necessarily good for the markets. More of a focus looking towards the currencies and the rise of the euro and the problems that that's causing. That is creating a little bit of a, a cause of instability and a, a feel of caution uh, around the markets here in Europe. Draghi will address a press conference following the monthly ECB policy meeting. No one expected a policy change, and they were right not to. The ECB held the benchmark interest rate at 0.75 percent. So why all the major focus on Draghi's presser? Bloomberg reports Draghi's comments last month directly affected the euro's sharp rise. He never comments on exchange rates, and he said, look, the euro is in line with historical averages. Now, that was January the 10th. We opened that date at $1.30. We closed at just under $1.33. Things have changed just a little yeah. bit, Mark, because where are we now? Just over. The euro hit its highest level since October 2011 after Draghi's comments, so it makes sense investors' ears are wide open this time around. But the BBC takes a step back and asks, with all the complications going on in Europe, how can the euro be so strong? The ECB has promised uh, to help out whichever countries need help in their bond markets. So that has completely diffused the breakup story, and that's why you're seeing this euro rise. But is that a good thing? Confidence in the euro does come at a cost. RTT News reports a stronger euro could hurt eurozone exporters by reducing their competitiveness. Weak exports could lead the 17-nation economy into a deeper recession. Investors also want to hear how Draghi reacts to questions regarding his past. An Italian bank Draghi oversaw while he was governor of the Bank of Italy is now engulfed in scandal. But CNBC's veteran ECB watcher Silvia Wadwa says journalists asking those questions won't get very far. The for me predictable answer of Mario Draghi is going to be this is a press conference about ECB monetary policy and this is not the right platform. I don't make any comments about single banks or single countries. Next question, please. Draghi's comments come amidst waning investor confidence due to corruption scandals in Spain and concerns of the rising popularity of Silvio Berlusconi, Italy's former prime minister, who critics are concerned could win re-election. That's an event they believe would have a destabilizing effect on Italy's economy. For Newsy, I'm Katie Brennan. Multiple sources, The Real Story.